our philosophy is just take your time, don't rush. The stuff doesn't need to be hammered down. Take your time, get it filled up, uh, plan ahead, and uh, consolidate as much as you can as you go with the pump. So pouring concrete. For a slump test, we trust our supplier. You can take a cone and, and test your slump. Uh, we're looking for about a 120. That's our, our, our best practice. Sometimes it comes out a little bit wetter. You want a 10 mil aggregate. It uh, allows it to flow better through the webs and your rebar and all the ties. Also, you have to consolidate as you go too. First two courses, you can use your concrete pump and allow it to send it down at a good rate. If you also want to consolidate, you can do it from the inside with a wall vibrator or take a sawzall with no blade and just run it up the webs. That's another great way to help consolidate those first few courses, especially when you have a tall wall and you can't get a vibrator down 8, 9, 10, 12 feet. Mm -hmm. So when we pour a concrete, we're looking for about one to four passes around, depending on the elevation of your foundation. So we did a nine foot four, we did three passes. So roughly three, six, nine was our passes. So we would go all around three feet, try to drop it down, consolidate it as we go with the pump, make sure that uh, it looks good and we're happy to continue on. And after we continue on, we come up to the windows and fill it around them and hopefully let it flow between each side of the window and get under it and then you can vibrate around it and have it come up under the window buck. Validation. I'm trying to find spots where there's not any horizontal ties. Yeah. So as long as you stay within, you know, or like a marriage scene is like the, the, the repeating pattern is a good place to go. You can really manipulate your pump and, and point it where you want it to go. It doesn't get better than that. That's a nice, that's probably like a 145, maybe a 140 slump. A 120 is what you want, but it's always too hard. It's too stiff, honestly. So the fun part is when we get up to the windows, we gotta get the vibrator in there, down here and down in there. And we'll bring this down right into there and fill it up. And then tap it so you can hear it. It should bubble up those those holes. Yeah. If your if your slump is too stiff, then it, that doesn't happen. But you can see down there. Oh yeah. That's at the about the second course. So when you when you vibrate with the sawzall, it works really well. But you just have to take your time. See it's hollow there, right? Yeah. You can hear it. Yeah, so we just, uh, we use a 2 by 4 because it's what we had and this dimension is an inch and a half. We start from each end and go across and then we take our, our measuring tape and we, now we're finishing the wall so we want exactly an inch and a half. If you can apply with a half inch, great, go half inch. But you want it to be bang on, there's no leaning in or whatever. You're leveling the wall at this point. So you go along at every plumb wall section, in or out get it right and go along and then just look down and see if it looks good to you. That would challenge me.
Okay, recapping today, we poured all of our walls and pad and piers. The, the whole process takes about six hours in total. We did four hours of actual pouring and two hours of cleanup, wall straightening, and getting everything tightened up so that we can feel good for the next day.